we're hacked, so I'm hacked. So I'm gonna have to do it this way. Let me show you what was scrawled in the uh, in, in the constant uh, the condensation that had collected on the interior of the windows of my of my truck this morning when I awakened. And I awakened out of this very interesting dream. And uh, in the final part of it, this, this man uh, who was approximately my age, a spook with blonde hair, This sort of, uh, I don't know. Sort of cutting manner, I suppose. This is, this, anyway, let me, let me show you. Yeah, he, he, he was whispering my, my ear, you know. And then I came awake. And the, uh, the plunger lock was up on the on the door next to my head as well. Let me show you. Okay, let's see. I can't I can't import this, so uh, let's see. How's this gonna look? All right. Let's see if it works this time. I had a dream where I wish I was. I seem to be looking for a hypnotic drug. I was trying to acquire a hypnotic drug in some kind of futuristic setting. And there was a form of entertainment or something. This, this stuff gets so convoluted, you know. <laughs> stuff they have in the future. Oh boy. Then there's this fresh tag. This is strange. Y no W Oh why right why why supper stop you see I um you see when I woke up my, my guts were gurgling and uh it was as though I had uh eaten e eaten something uh while in a in a uh, drugged state and um, it's uh, what 11.10 now and I'm not at all hungry so evidently so you know uh, I was I was seen with some characters late Friday night, you know. I'm not getting paid anything. I, I, I'm not under contract with anybody. I don't have an agent. I have no business deals. My only source of income is... Um, is my uh, post-traumatic stress disorder compensation from the VA at 50%, you know? So that's like 850 a month. Then I, I sharpen shears, you know? That's really it. I've never, I've never received a dime from YouTube, you know? Way back, like in 2000, you know, I, I, I do recall, I mean, uh, you know, my handler uh, in military intelligence, I, I believe he was with military intelligence, a captain, you know, he, he, he revealed that 
listen, if, if you do anything like this, uh, you know, you won't, you won't get paid a dime. You know, the, uh, Google is a CIA, uh, front company, you know, they don't want this stuff, uh, getting out. So they're going to suppress you. They're going to, uh, you know, people are going to be sent to, to, to torture you and you will be diminished. Um, you're not going to get anything out of this, you know. So, so anyway, anyway, uh, somebody, this, this woman, she walked by my truck. She said, he sleeps in his truck. She was talking on her phone. He sleeps in his truck. Or he, he sleeps in his truck. She, she seemed surprised by that. And I got out and I, I thought I might question her. I, you know, maybe I thought, well, maybe I misheard. Maybe I was, you know, programmed to mishear, you know, and to have these hallucinations, you know. But it's, it's uh, maybe it's just gaslighting, you know. Please try to relax here and then again, I mean, I just, you know, there's, the John Boy McCrack. I've seen so many people over the years, you know, like last year when I was in, I was homeless in Portland. I was heavily laded down with this 80 pound pack trudging through this frigid windswept on the, you know, uh, on this, uh, through this, you know, uh, section of Portland uh, this morning, you know, and this woman rolled by in her sedan and she said to her passenger, she said, uh, what did she say? He must be going back to the hotel to get some sleep. He must be going back to the hotel to get some sleep. I was homeless. I, I, I Honestly, I was homeless. You know, and everybody, no, nobody would, nobody would, would give me a place to stay. I, I believe their, their emails to me were intercepted. I actually couldn't, uh, I actually couldn't, uh, I, could, I couldn't post on, on, on Craigslist. It, it, it wouldn't go through. It wouldn't go through. But I would, um, I tried to, I did, I, I believe that I, I did respond to uh, listings, you know. But I kept getting these, these psychic transmissions like, oh, is this some kind of joke? This guy, this guy is, he's joking around, he's playing some, some kind of game. This part is for his, some video of his or, you know. That was the reaction I, I was I was seeming to get, you know. I go into a coffee shop. I mean, it was radio silence. They they uh, they were they were shutting down people's communications, different websites and things, because I was there. And you know, they were saying, "Well, this guy he's he's working for the Trump administration, the, the the Trump campaign, and all this." I, you know, I happen to, I, I don't know. I think Trump's done an okay job so far, you know. He's beholden to certain interests. I mean, he's, you know, I don't know. He's got to make these compromises and so on. I mean, you know, what, what do people expect? I don't know. I just, you know, I, I encountered uh, Hillary Clinton uh, back in what, 96? You know, I was just a, a, uh, like a freshman in high school. We were, uh, I was part of the choir and we were singing. Uh, she she uh, visited the, the, uh, the high school and, and uh, I was up there in the balcony and we were singing some, uh, I don't know, some patriotic songs or something. Songs about social justice, you know, being a South Eugene high school, being a somewhat progressive school. You know. 
and I just uh, I, she just struck me as this this really uh, dark and patronizing character, you know. And how she was addressing us. It was just so reptilian, you know. And I began to fantasize about uh, assassinating her, you know. Like, oh, I could do it. You know, I, I could do it, you know. I was making note of where the security type, you know, the Secret Service was and all this kind of stuff. It was kind of funny. But, uh, no, she's a... Listen... There's a lot of indications that she, she's involved in all this dark occultism. To include hum, human sacrifice, sorry. The, the Clintons did kill those. Uh, anyway, they, they've had all these account, accountants killed who knew the real story on the book on the, their books, and on and on and on. You know, I mean that. You know, anyway, I want to go into that again. But the thing, the thing about yet, you know. This whole thing is is a CIA psyop. I've been subjected to this this CIA psyop. Evidently, I'm getting enough views to to where I'd be earning money. You know, millions of views. I don't know. I mean, a lot of this stuff. What, what I'm talking. I am a whistleblower. You know, a lot of this stuff. I mean, it's, it's hugely provocative. I should be getting views, and it's very, very relevant to the current situation, and it's relevant uh, for the future. You know, I mean, a lot of this stuff, it just bores me to tears, you know, to make these videos, I mean, but, you know, it's, it's, it's just programming, you know, just trying to suppress me. Anyway, they, they did something to attack my joints and uh, my knees, you know, were painting me the other day and then, then it went to my ankles and still not recovered from that. And, you know, I, I, I almost broke, you know, my fingers, you know, I almost broke one of my, uh, one of the distal joints, you know, just doing everyday tasks, you know. <sighs> People want to cripple me, you know. So I've, I've got just uh, 14 subscribers, and uh, there's not a single one of my videos that has over a hundred uh, views. And I've been told that you cannot like or dislike. Uh, my videos by these, you know, trusted uh, individuals, you know, already initiated into this whole thing. They, they know it's real. And, uh, oh, note, note the date there. Please try to like, share, and subscribe to the John Boy McCracken channel.